sales, the word that makes everyone's skin crawl. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I help agency owners scale their businesses. If you're trying to sell your digital marketing services or any services really, then you've probably spent, sorry, I keep shaking the camera. <laughs> you've probably spent a little bit of time uh, perfecting what we call the sales pitch. I'm going to guess it's not going very well or you wouldn't be here. If you could use some help with your sales pitch and selling your digital marketing services to more brands, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. First, this is important. The sales pitch isn't one isolated event, okay? When people hear sales pitch, they think that it simply refers to that one part of the conversation where you tell a lead, these are our services and this is what we charge. This is wrong. The sales pitch really starts from the moment you begin communicating with a lead. So let's start there. Step one is get to know the lead. When you connect with a lead and initially make contact, you're going to be tempted to jump right in and sell your services. Don't. In the beginning, you should be listening more than talking, and there are two reasons for this. The first reason is that in the very beginning, the lead has no reason to care about you yet. So talking about yourself is pointless. And the second reason is you need to be collecting more information to figure out if you can even help them. You still wanna introduce yourself. So I might say something like, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of blah blah agency and I'm reaching out because I'm interested in working together on blah blah blah. But beyond that, the focus is on them. During this part of the conversation, you're trying to determine three things. Where they were, where they are now, and where they're trying to go. You might ask them questions like, what are you struggling with most right now with your digital marketing? What have you tried to do to fix this? What were the results? What are you trying to achieve? Questions like this help you determine where they were, where they are, where they're trying to go. That was step one, get to know the lead. You're gathering information. Step two, diagnose the problem. I'm gonna make up an example just to illustrate this better. Let's say that your lead's Instagram growth is stagnant. It's not growing. Without getting into too much detail because they're not a client yet, you need to have at least a vague understanding of why this might be happening. Maybe after going through their Instagram posts, you determine that they have no brand consistency, uh, their hashtag strategy is way off, and they're targeting the wrong audience. Again, this is just an example. You can keep it broad, keep it general, but after that initial conversation with the lead where they give you the information that you need, you need to become a little bit of a detective like a doctor and diagnose the problem. Then after that, you can tell the lead, okay, so I understand what you're trying to achieve and I think the issue with this is X, Y, and Z. That was step two, diagnose the problem. Step three is create a plan of action. The lead has a problem and you have a solution. There are two parts to this, so keep watching. Uh, your plan of action should include features and benefits. I've talked about this a few times on this channel, but let's review. A feature is the actual service that you're offering. So organic posting, hashtag research, monitoring their analytics, those are features. The benefit is what happens as a result of the feature of the service. So a benefit in this case might be something like uh, improved engagement, reach, growth, more followers. You need to share both of these with the lead because the benefits are going to speak more to them but the features are going to explain how you plan to get there. They're going to want to know the how. Okay, so you wanna sell the solution and the service, and where most agency owners go wrong is that they only sell the service. Now, everyone's got an opinion on when exactly you should start talking about money. And for me, unless the lead specifically asks, what is this going to cost? I wait until after step three, when I've given them a plan of action. In that case, step four, is when we start talking about money. You send that information, your plan of action, features, benefits, and then at that point, 99.9% .9 of the time, what happens for me is that the lead will respond and be like, okay, cool, sounds great. What are your rates? If you are telling your leads your rates up front, stop, unless they ask. And if they ask up front, there's a good chance you're dealing with a lead who cares more about money than the return on their investment, and that could be a red flag but I'll save that for another video. Understand that we're not waiting 
to tell them the price because we're trying to hide it from them. That would be very pointless. But sharing your rates too early presents two disadvantages. First, it seems really pushy, like all you care about is getting their money. And second, you run the risk of the lead making a decision based on the price tag alone before they learn about the value, before they learn about what they get when they pay you that money. You're going to kill the relationship before you even have a chance to build it. I'm sure some of you are watching this and you're thinking, all of this sounds like way too much work. I'm just going to skip to the part where I pitch my services and my rates and you're going to ignore everything I said. I mean, you can do that, but it won't work. In this video, I talk about how successfully selling your services comes down to a huge mindset shift. And that shift is help, don't sell. The reason for this is that nobody wants to be sold to, but everybody has a problem that they need solved and many of them are willing to pay for it. But if you go right in for the kill from the very beginning, uh, you know, before forming a real connection and a real relationship, your leads are going to be so turned off. This is an investment of your time, yes, but think about the return that you're going to get. So it might take a week, a couple weeks, a month or so to close a lead. But if moving forward, that lead pays your agency five, $10,000 a month, was it worth that investment of your time earlier on? I would say yes. There's one more thing I wanna leave you with, and that is your sales pitch probably isn't going to look the same every time. The conversation isn't going to look the same every time. Uh, as an example, you might be communicating with someone who needs to get approval from someone above them before they can keep moving forward with you, or they have to get the budget approved. This is especially the case with bigger companies. Or maybe they have to loop other people into the conversation. Or maybe it'll take a Zoom call or two calls. This is something I always encourage my students to do because getting on a call will really help your closing rate. So be flexible, be patient. Remember that this is a conversation. So you're gonna talk and then they're gonna talk and then you're gonna talk and it's gonna go back and forth. And it might go back and forth a little longer than you want, but that's okay. I can promise you this. If you prioritize helping over selling and making it your mission to solve your leads problems, the money will follow. You will land clients. Focus on building real relationships. Talk more than you listen. Listen more than you talk <laughs> and keep it real. Have a real conversation with people and you will land clients. If you're using any sort of sales script or template, which is something that I offer in my program, but if you are following it to a T and not personalizing it, you're doing it wrong. It's not gonna work. Every lead is going to be different. So that's why I always tell my students, here is the script, personalize it. There is no one size fits all where you can just use the same script verbatim every single time. You're communicating with human beings not robots, remember that. If you wanna join my community of like-minded professionals and scale your own agency like I did, then just scroll down below this video and click on the link to learn more about my program, Revenue Spark, the Agency Accelerator. If you think you might be interested in joining our community, then you can book a call with me to talk a little bit more. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please support my channel by giving this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss my new content and I'll see you next time.